All right, you guys, good morning, everybody. <laughs> Couple minutes late. I had this brain thing where I could not get the story going, but I'm going now. So welcome to Stick Mobility Live, a mobility flow. My name is Coach Debbie, and thank you for being here today. Thank you for being patient in those three minutes. Um, we're just gonna get rolling here. So we are gonna be working with one stick primarily. I will be integrating a little bit of the short stick, but everything we do with short, you can do with the long. Today, we have the chair. So if you're joining me for class, go ahead and grab a chair, a bench. Um, the warm up primarily, we're gonna be utilizing the chair to show that you don't always have to be standing. You know, if you have any injuries or you're just feeling like you wanna focus on certain muscle groups, like the upper body, chair is a great tool. So I'm going to show you some great warm up moves and great moves with the chair. All right, you guys, grab your chair, run and go get it if you don't have it and let's get going. All right, so we are gonna start seated. And just like I do when we're standing, we're gonna definitely warm up the spine in those three planes of motion. Make sure feet are planted into the floor, soften those shoulders, and let's start with a big inhale up. And exhale. I really want you to focus on feeling the lungs. Breathe through the nose, big inhale up. Exhale through the mouth. One more time. Take a big inhale up. Exhale, drop shoulders back pocket. Let the air out. All right, hitting our horizontal plane. Your arms are wider than shoulder, light grip. And let's just go ahead and take a nice, nice soothing tilt to one side and then the other. So really focus on the movement. Feel that opening up the rib cage, opening up that lateral line. A couple more. Sitting in the chair just kind of lets us relax a little bit in this warm up, just easing into it. And again, you can do this standing. If you don't have a chair, everything I'm doing, you can absolutely do standing in a nice wide horse stance. All right, opening those arms out. That stick is resting on top of the shoulders. We're gonna do a nice transverse turn. So with that leverage with your left hand, slowly push that stick slowly in front of you. As you twist, you're twisting. Goes, don't go too deep. Don't overexert here. Just a nice little twist. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. Big inhale, exhale, nice little twist. I want you to do this with the breath. So big inhale, come back to center, exhale. One more time, inhale. This is like a little Pilates spine twist. Exhale, bring it all out. Big inhale, exhale. One more, inhale up, exhale, twist. Maybe go a little deeper this time. And big inhale, and exhale, relax. All right, let's go into just a few little shoulder rolls. Just making little circles. So you're guiding it with those hands, with those arms. Just loosening up those shoulders and now let's reverse it. See lots of waves, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Roll back, although my eyeballs are bad so I can't read everything. <laughs> Roll back and just, you might even feel a little uh, crackling going on, just you know, getting the morning going. I know some of you are in different time zones so wherever you are, this will feel good, <laughs> whatever time it is. All right, let's bring those arms out and we're gonna do a lateral tilt. So pressing with that right hand, or one side, whichever, I want you to just guide, your leverage is the press. So pressing that hand down, that opposite arm just automatically comes up and follow it a little bit in that tilt. Let's see how deep you can go. The chair is assisting you here, stabilizing your lower body, opening in that whole left lateral line. Breathe, exhale, 
come back up to neutral. Let's go ahead and do a few little circles again. Little open arm kayaking. This feels good. Reverse that direction. Nice. And now let's tilt to that opposite side. Leverage is my left hand here. Just guiding that stick down. The opposite arm just naturally follows. Let it happen naturally. If this is as far as you can go, hold it. If you feel you can go a little deeper, guide it. Nice and slow. Breathe. Just hold here for a few moments. Opening of the right lateral line, yes. Slowly come back up. Let's grip that stick, reach up high, and wrap it around the front of the body. Shake it out, nice job. Shake out those shoulders. We're gonna go right into a little bit of grip activation, just um, waking up those wrist joints. So wide arms here, softened elbows. I want you to just bring the stick up just to about chest height. I want you to think 30 to 40% grip pressure, grip tension. We're gonna push the stick together, activating that anterior chain. So one, two, three, push. Now again, just think 30 to 40%. Nothing too, too deep yet or too strong, just a light grip. Now we're gonna pull the stick apart. One, two, three, pull. So you should feel that in the posterior chain right through the lats, feeling it in those upper traps, delts of course. Let's do it again. Now let's think 50 to 60%. So we're gonna go deeper, stronger, push. One, two, three, activate, push. Keep a strong grip. Strong grip, strong heart. Let's get ready to pull apart. One, two, three, 50 to 60%, pull. Nice, hold it, hold that strength. Nice isometric hold here. Breathe, breathe, breathe and release nice shake it out good job all right we're going to open up the chest shoulder we're going to get a nice stretch for our bicep and tricep so taking that stick and i'm going to actually show you this with the shorter stick but if you have a longer stick that's fine but i just want to show i like actually doing this one with the shorter just because i can actually grip and where our arm and hand is gripping it's right on that grip. And the big stick is gonna be on the orange, so either one's good, but I prefer this, so just to show you. Okay, so let's take that stick 12 o'clock, right in front of us. Keep those feet grounded. You wanna make sure those sit bones are in that chair, back is nice and straight, chest open, clavicle open, and arm is extended right about chin level. And I want you to drive that stick in. So drive it into the floor, radiate it into the floor. Think about, you know, 40 to 50% drive here. Take a big inhale. Exhale, cross that arm over the chest. Feeling that stretch, keep that drive in. And just hold and slowly open back up. Not too wide, just to maybe at knee angle here. It's level with your knee. Let's do a couple more. Wrap across. Let's make it active and open. Two more, wrap across, feel that stretch. Maybe each time go maybe 10% a little deeper. One more time, wrap across and open. Beautiful. All right, we have 12 o'clock. I want you to take that stick to two. So we've got one, two. So it's right outside that knee. Now this time we're gonna wrap pulling the arm back. So let's pull the arm back, just slightly lean forward. We're opening up that pec and bring it up front. Let's do two more. Open, big inhale, really feel that open the chest and wrap back. One more time, open and exhale. All right, taking that stick back to 12, still working the right side, but this time, Switching our grip. Thumb is pointing down. Thumb is pointing down. So if I show it to you, my thumb is pointing down, okay? 
Just switching our grip is going to give us a different feel in this stretch. So again, it's 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Drive it in. Now let's wrap across. So it's right about shoulder height. My arm is right about shoulder height. Wrap across and then open. Keep driving that stick in. Two more. Wrap across. Let's make it active and open. One more time. Wrap across and open. Nice. Taking that stick to two o'clock. Same thing, different placement, different grip. Drive it, radiate that stick in, think 40 to 50%. You wanna keep that stick into the floor. Instead of tall, big inhale. Exhale, pull that arm back. So you're feeling that stretch in your bicep. And wrap it front, right to 12 o'clock. Open it up. Try to hit six if you can. And back to 12. One more time. Open up. Lots of openings here. And bring it back. Nice. Shake it out. Okay. Before we transition to the other side, I'm going to have you do a nice core activation. So taking your stick, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Right hand stacked on top of the left. Right about nose, chin height, okay? So if I show it to you this way, you can see elbows are softened. All right, here we go. We're gonna focus on our abdominals. Focus on our powerhouse here. So I want you to think 30 to 40% pressure. Drive that stick into the floor. Drive it in, breathe. This is a core activation. Yes, your, your upper body's working too, but I want you to focus. Keep that focus on your core. Release, shake it out. Let's drive that stick in. Think 50 to 60%. Drive, one, two, three. Drive, drive. Pull that navel into your spine. Now again, if you're standing, that's great. I just wanted to show how you can utilize the chair here. The chair's a great tool too. Release, shake it out. Nice, all right, here we go. The left side, or opposite side. 12 o'clock, your grip, thumbs pointing up. And we're gonna go ahead, drive that stick in, big inhale, exhale, wrap across. Wrap across the body here, wrap across the chest and open. Right past the knee, let's do two more. Wrap across and open. Wrap across and open. Keep the clavicle open here, bring it back. Let's go ahead and hit that, what is that? 10 o'clock. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to take a big inhale, drive that stick in, and open. You're opening up that pec on that left side, and wrap across. Keep it going. Open with the breath. Inhale, exhale. Use the breath. Inhale, and exhale. Nice. Switching our grip, switching that stretch a bit. Thumb pointing down. So your hand is shoulder height here. Arm is shoulder, grip is shoulder. Here we go, thumb pointing down. Big inhale, wrap across. You're not gonna go as far, okay? You're feeling that right through the delt here. When we open, there you go. Let's do two more. Wrap across. It's a little bit of a deeper stretch. One more time. Wrap across and exhale. Here we go, 10 o'clock, final one, and then we're gonna get into some hanging and strength. So opening up, reach back. You're gonna feel that in the bicep a little more. Six o'clock, try to go back to 12 at that end. Let's go, do it again. Inhale, and exhale. Keep that drive, don't let that stick lift. Bring it back, and bring it forward. Mine is slipping a little on something. And come back, nice. Shake it out, you guys. I'm gonna switch sticks, good job. We're gonna go into a deep stretch on the chair, hanging monkey. Now again, you can do the standing. So if you're standing with me, 
you're in a nice wide horse stance. Nice wide horse stance. If you are sitting, you're in a wider stance, a little plie, same thing as if you were standing, feet, toes are turned out. I want you to bring that stick on the inside of that right leg. Reaching up high, nice high grip, strong grip. We're gonna go into hanging monkey. All right, so I want you to just take a big inhale and let everything go. Exhale, reach for the floor. Reach for the floor. Really opening up that right lateral line, opening it up. This should feel good. Slowly, slowly, slowly come out of that. We're gonna do one more. This time we're gonna make it a little di more dynamic. So take a big inhale. Exhale, hang. Just let the body hang. Now, if you wanna add a little bit of movement, you can do a little rotation. Just bring in the arm slightly behind and then forward. One more time. Big inhale, exhale, and slowly come up. Perfect. Left side. All right, here we go. High grip. High grip again. It's on the inside of that left foot. Make sure that stick is driving into the floor. Big inhale. Exhale, reach. Let it go. And just hold, hold, hold. Slowly come out of it. And let's do one more and we'll make it a little, a little more active. Here we go. Big inhale. Exhale, reach. Now this time you can either just keep that hold or if you want to just add a little bit of a rotation in your grip. If you can see, my hand is turning back a little bit and then I'm rotating it forward. So it's a little bit of wrist joint activation. And slowly come back. Nice job, you guys. Shake out those legs, shake out those legs. So speaking of legs, we're gonna work them now. Okay, so sitting your feet parallel, feet parallel, knees, legs, just about hip width apart. Taking that stick, place it on top, right on top of the right foot, okay? You're gonna press in, we're gonna work the quad here. So you're gonna start driving that stick into the top of your foot, um, at least like 30 to 40% pressure. Don't go too hard, you don't wanna hurt the top of your foot, okay? But then the, op the, the opposite drive is gonna come with the foot here. So drive in. Now, with the foot, I want you to push. So you're resisting against each other right here. Foot against stick, stick versus foot. Here we go. Lift. I want you to drive the stick up where you're feeling that quadricep work, okay? And that hip, and lower. Keep going, let's do three more. So drive up, 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 and lower. Don't let that foot hit the ground, hover it. Drive up and lower. One more time, drive that foot up, hold, 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 keep that drive. You feel that resistance, that quad should be burning here. You can be doing this standing too and you're challenging your balance more if you're standing. Breathe, four, three, two, one, release. Nice, shake it out, shake it out. Again. Opposite side. So again, if you're standing, I just want to show you are doing the same thing I am. You're just going to be integrating balance a little bit more. So taking a seat. Here we go. Get, get that stick nice and stable. Just drive it into the top of your foot where it's nice and strong and connected. Now you're going to resist. Drive that knee up. Drive, drive. Your focus is you want to make that quadricep work here. And lower. Keep a nice long length in your spine as you do this. Drive, drive, drive. Breathe. Let's do one more. Drive that stick up, hold, hold. Ah, 
<laughs> your leg may shake a little bit that's good you want to burn feel that burn in that quad keep holding for four three two and one and lower nice shake it out good job you guys all right let's come to a nice standing but i'm going to make you work out of the chair here you're going to have to work to get out of it <laughs> drive that stick 12 o'clock 12 o'clock here we go so i want you to actually lower your grip a bit so lower that grip so it's maybe right about sternum here sternum level lower it and drive now as you come out of the chair you're going to come out of it in a squat so switch grip hold it switch grip slowly come out switch 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 so you're climbing out of that squat let's go back down one more time drive 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 you want to get so low where you feel your sit bones on that chair or bench Ah, there it is. Come back up, up, up. Drive nice and slow. And we're done with the chair. Good job, you guys. Okay, so find, I want you to find a space that you can drive one stick into the baseboard, whether it be, so if you need to move your camera, your phone, find a place where you're gonna be able to drive that stick into the baseboard or wall. I'm gonna hit this angle, so I'm driving it into my couch. But I want you to see what I'm doing here. So standing sideways, you've got, you're at the end of your stick right here, right here. Now you have a choice. You can either be in a nice squat stance or a nice demi lunge, okay? Not too deep of a lunge, just a nice demi lunge here half lunge. Okay, we're gonna work tricep, delt, and we're gonna do a little upper body work and lower body work. Here we go. So what I want you to do is drive that stick into the wall. I want you to think 50 to 60%. So drive. You're activating, activating that arm. Drive, breathe. Now we're gonna lower. The stick, extend that arm, you're in a nice half lunge. And now keeping that, keeping that stance, keeping that drive behind you strong, pull that elbow behind you and drive back down. Now this time, drive, 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 lateral raise. Open that arm, open that arm. Right up shoulder height, keep that, I'm driving the stick behind me. Lower it, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Let's do it again. Tricep, so pull, pull, and then push, drive down. Keep that activation, that tension, strong grip. Lateral raise, raise, nice. Lower down, let's do one more time, you guys. Keep, the key here is keeping that stick driving. Yes, your quad should be burning, and pull up, breathe. Tension, time under tension, push down, drive. Here we go, lateral raise, open, open up, woo. <laughs> and lower, hold, 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 slowly come back, and come back to stand. Nice job. <laughs> you should have felt that one. We're gonna go to the opposite side now. So in order for you to see me, I'm just gonna switch sides of the stick. Although I could show it to you this way now. Let me do that. I'll show it to you this way now. So driving, again, you're at the end of the stick. So this time, this time, opposite. Right leg is back. Here we go. <laughs> Drive. <laughs> Push that stick behind you, you guys. Again, it's up to you. This is your strength strength training here. If you want to think I'm um, pushing that stick 80% 80, 80 go for it, you know, but just remember we're going to add movement. So keep it nice and strong. Let's go ahead and extend that arm down. Chest is up. You're in that lunge or you can be in that half squat too. 
Here we go. Let's pull that elbow back. Let's gonna get closer here. Pull the elbow back, drive. Push down. As I'm pushing that stick down, I'm driving that stick into the wall behind me. I'm getting ready for that lateral raise. And open. Keep it strong. Two more reps and lower. Here we go. Drive up. Drive. Push that stick. Time under tension again. Drive down. Extend right into that lateral lay, lateral raise. We're working unilaterally here. Again, pull up. Keep that activation. You guys should be feeling it here. Feeling it in that delt. And let's open. <laughs> open, open, open. Hold, breathe. And lower. And come back to stand. Whoo, that definitely built some heat. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's get into some deep stretches now. Deep stretching. We're gonna take the stick right across the body here. Nice wide horse stance, nice wide horse stance. Your grip, thumb is pointing out, resting in the palms. You got a nice strong grip. And let's just go ahead and do a little kayaking. If you wanna go deeper into that squat, just to add a little more of a challenge. And now let's reverse it. Reverse that roll. Go into that squat. And bring it back to neutral. We're getting ready to go into some lateral lunges. So just coming to one side, nice side to side. Good. And now let's add, add a little movement. So take the stick with you, side to side. We're getting ready to place the right end of the stick into the ground. You're gonna to try to hit that 12 o'clock mark. Take it one, two, three, hit that mark right there. Drive, drive, and just hold. Hold for a moment. Now let's go ahead and just do a nice, nice active lateral sway here. You're in charge of how deep you want to go. Nice. Couple more. And take it back to center. Keep those knees softened. Roll it back across the sternum and come up. Let's go again. So this time, just again, side to side. Breathe. Keep those arms nice and long, strong. Keep that grip strong. You've got a nice, strong grip. Get ready. We're going to place the left end, the opposite end. So here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. Left side, opposite side, whichever one you are working with. And just hold. It's a little hang here. Drive that stick into the floor. And now let's make it active. And just add some movement here. Nice. Breathe. Big inhale, exhale. We're getting ready for a slap shot. Bring it back center. Soften those knees. Roll across the sternum again. And come back up. This time, before we go into that slap shot, I wanna take you into a nice hamstring stretch. So make those feet parallel, legs are still wide. Press that stick into the hips here, right where the attachment of the quads are to those hips, and hinge forward. Open those arms wide as you hinge. If this is it, this is it. But I want you to challenge yourself and maybe try to go 10% deeper. Breathe. Breathe. Slowly, slowly come out of it. Beautiful, shake it out. 
All right, let's take that stick right behind the lower back, top of the sacrum. So it's resting right here, right here, okay? Slap shot. Nice wide stance again. And let's just go ahead and do that lateral movement. And as you're doing that, you're rolling the stick across the back of your lower back, across the top of the hips. Breathe. We're getting ready to hit 12 o'clock or wherever you can hit that floor on the slap shot. Do what's right for you. Right end of the stick first. Take it one, two, three. Now, right end of the stick. I'm hitting 12. That's your goal. If you're not quite there, that's okay. And I am actually going to extend it over a little bit to 11 for me. So just a little bit deeper. Hold that stretch. Hold it there for a moment. We're getting ready to laterally lunge to our right. Here we go. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Go deep. Take it right back. Nice little lunge to the opposite side. Big inhale. Use the breath. Exhale. That breath will assist you and how deep you can get into the stretch. Use the breath. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale. Nice. And hold and come back. Slowly, slowly come out of that. And back up to stand, back to neutral. Shake it out, nice. Let's do it again, hitting that left side. But again, I want you to just go ahead and do Nice dynamic movement, a little flow going. Breathe. So opposite, opposite end of the stick. So if you hit it right last time, you're gonna hit it left this time. I want you to think, see yourself how deep you're gonna go in the stretch, okay? This is a definite movement that you have to work your way up to, so don't feel you have to go as deep as me. I actually, Go, not going as deep as I have been because I feel like I haven't done enough slap shots, so I gotta do more. Here we go. One, two, three, left side. Place, I'm starting at 12. So before we go into that lateral movement, really make sure you're stable. That, that stick is really driving into the floor, into the ground. Breathe. I'm feeling I wanna take it a little deeper, so I'm gonna just hit at one o'clock on my side. All right, here we go. Lateral lunge to the left. One, two, three, big inhale. Exhale. Ah. Slowly come back, opposite side. Soften that knee. It's a nice little lateral lunge, not too deep. Big inhale. Exhale. Maybe a little bit, 5%, 10% deeper. Come back, big inhale. Let's go for it, guys. Exhale. You might find one side is a little more flexible than the other. That is normal, <laughs> but we're here to even you out. <laughs> and hold, breathe. Slowly come out of that. Slowly unwind. Take your time coming out of these poses and moves, you guys. Don't rush out of them. And slowly come up. Ooh, yes. Nice. Shake it out. All right, guys. Bow and arrow. Signature move. I feel like it has to be in every class because you should be doing bow and arrow more than once a week. And I think all our coaches pretty much integrated into their workouts. So, bow and arrow, if you're new to it, you can do this in the chair too, okay? If you wanna sit back in that chair and take the stick to one side, all right? So in fact, I'll show it to you one in the chair, one without. This is just optional. You guys are, no, I don't need the chair, that's fine. So sitting in your chair or standing, take that stick to three o'clock, drive it. You wanna drive it into the floor. It's maybe about 12 inches away from the chair or your body. 
right hand comes right where the sticker is, left hand comes up, and reach. Driving from the top, driving from the top, the activation. Now in the chair, you're not gonna be able to go as deep, so be mindful if you are in the chair. Take a big inhale, and exhale, and press, and hold. Hold it four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of it, shake it out. I'm gonna just go back to standing. Again at three o'clock. Reach that left hand up, strong grip. If you're standing, you have a shift in the hips. So shift your hips to the left. Keep those hips, hip bones facing me. Take a big inhale. And exhale, activate. Yes, and just hold for four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back, shake it out. One more, we're doing three on each side. This time, I think maybe about 10% deeper, if you can go a little deeper. Here we go, shift, big inhale, exhale, activate into that nice, beautiful bow and arrow. Now I'm actually adding a little bit of movement. This is optional. A little bit. Shifting forward, slowly shifting back, come back, slowly come out of it. Nice, shake it out. Good job, you guys. Left side, I'll start in the chair. Hope everybody's doing good. <laughs> Let's take it right here, nine o'clock. And you've got that 90 degree hinge right in that left arm. Drive that stick in, drive it. Reach up. Now again, you're not gonna do the hip shift in the chair. Your goal is to just drive the stick in, keep those feet planted into the earth here. Keep them planted, drive that stick down, top hand. Sun's coming out. <laughs> Let's take a big inhale. And exhale, push. So as you see, I cannot extend my bottom arm as much in the chair. Some of you might be able to. This is actually a little harder for me. <laughs> but if you need support with that lower body, using the chair for this is great. Breathe and slowly come out of it. Shake it out, nice. All right, last two in our standing pose. Same thing, nine o'clock. Big inhale, reach up. You're gonna shift those hips to your right. Big inhale again. Exhale, activate. Nice, now remember you have one more, one more to go at your deepest bow and arrow. So this one is more moderate and just hold. Hold it four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of it, nice. Shake it out. I always feel so good after bow and arrow. <laughs> I hope you do too. <laughs> All right, here's our final one, you guys. So this one again, you're gonna try to, you're gonna challenge yourself with a little bit of a deeper activation and deeper lengthening. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the rotation and that's just optional. Here we go, drive that stick. Shift hips to your right, reach up. Strong grip, take a big inhale. Exhale, let's go for it. Hold. Keep it strong. Keep the breath going, don't hold your breath. There we go. I'm adding, adding just a little bit of movement. It's optional. And hold strong, steady for four, Three, two, one. Slowly come out of it, nice. Good job, you guys, shake it out. Shake it out, awesome. We're gonna end with a nice standing child pose and just do a quick little body scan. So taking that stick, I'm just gonna show it to you at an angle here, and you can do this in the chair too. So it's 12 o'clock, standing or sitting, okay? 
So here we go. It doesn't matter where you're stacking the hands, just do what feels the best for you. So I want you to take a big inhale, pull the stick into the body, and exhale, pull the hips back, reach those arms out, lengthen through that spine, looking between those arms, looking at the floor and just hold. Really reach, breathe. Soften those knees, and now pull the navel in, rib cage, right up to the chest, and roll out of it nice and slow. Take your time. We're gonna do one more, one more. Shake it out. Soften those arms. Your grip isn't, you're not holding on tight. It's just a nice, steady, light grip. And let's go ahead and take a big inhale. And exhale, hips back. Lengthen those arms and breathe. If you want to add a little bit of movement, you can, and just making it a little active, it's optional. Just enjoy this. Maybe going a little bit deeper, feeling that in the back of the hamstrings even more. You can lower the hands. Big inhale, exhale, come back to center. Now we're going to take our time rolling out of this, okay? So soften your, soften your knees. I want you to draw your hips back. Draw navel in. Roll up, curling that body like a C. Soften those elbows. Keep that chin intact all the way up to the top of your head. Just go ahead and just rest that stick. Close your eyes for a moment and just feel what your body has done this morning. You're strong. Let's take a nice big inhale. Fill the lungs. Exhale. One more time through the nose. Take a big deep breath. Let it go through the mouth. Open your eyes. And we are done. We are done. Good job, you guys. Again, I wanted to just, my name is Debbie Gleason, and I wanted to show that you can actually do a lot of this movement on the chair. So no matter, no matter what fitness level you are at, the stick is for everybody. It's for everybody. It's a great re rehabilitation tool, strength, joint activation, um, opening up those fascia lines. Follow us at Stick Mobility on Instagram, which uh, you guys are here already. <laughs> but also go to our YouTube page and um, all of our videos will live live there. So this one, <laughs> this one will be on YouTube soon, but all of our coaches are on there. I'll see you next Thursday. I'm probably going to be at the Stick Mobility Studio next Thursday, a little bit of a different atmosphere. And all of you guys have, stay safe, stay well, stay mobile, <laughs> and have a great day.